and kind of what you were seeing on the play? Oh, I dropped the interception last week, so I made sure I hugged the ball as soon as I <laughs> as soon as I seen it coming. Um, it was just, uh, you know, ball just happened to, you know, fall in my hands where, you know, I knew we had to make a play. Defense knew we had to make a play. There was a sense of urgency around for the whole defense, and uh, the guys stepped up, all, the whole defense stepped up, so. You guys seem to, they, they kind of, they had a real quick pace early in the game, and they and you held them, you had the big stand. That's probably the, you know, you go back that first drive that they had, it's probably the biggest play of the game when you guys stopped them. That goal line stand yeah. in the beginning of the game. Um, it's important that, uh, it's important that we have goal line stands, and we really had a goal line stand last week, so we were more comfortable on the goal line coming together as a defense. So. And you guys seemed to settle down. I mean, they 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 had some, they moved the ball a little bit, but they they had tons of penalties, which obviously is a reflection of you guys putting some pressure on them. And mm -hmm. so. uh, we just stayed composed, and, and we knew we just held on, fight to the end of the whistle, and you know we we'll have a chance to win every every time we go out there. So good job dragging that guy in with you too. <laughs> Thank you. Your defense came back in the second half with a much stronger effort than the first. Do you guys make a lot of adjustments? We didn't make a lot of adjustments, but we just gotta we just gotta get off the bus and, and light a fire under our uh, under our butts, you know, get going. We can't come out stagnant like that, you know. We start to play better and better teams in the, at the end of the year. You can't afford to get down at the half. So um, I think it was more just a sense of urgency, um, seeing things a little quicker. They did come out with some quick pace stuff, but we, we made some subtle adjustments. But overall, we just got our heads into the game and played football. So. I was able to make some throws and maybe some big catches, so you were able to do that. How do you how do you get in the rhythm when you you know you got ten minutes left in the game? Okay, you're in. <laughs> yeah, it is really tough, but to be honest with you, to be honest with you, this probably helped me just to be thrown in that situation and and have to do something. You know what I'm saying? Just to have to move the chains, to have to be really accurate. Um, so I think this situation really helped me, and it, it made me play a lot faster, a lot quicker, make better decisions. Did uh, did you see anything in particular during your last couple of drives? I mean, obviously they're they're not going to be playing ultra tight when you have to drive the field, exactly. but, uh, but so you had a little room that. 12, 15 yard range. Maybe. Yeah, you know, we, we knew they were going to drop back because we had dropped the whole field on twice. Um, and, you know, when they're playing two safeties like that and they're going to give me seams and that kind of stuff, you know, I, I feel like I could stick it. Um, and that's kind of what we did was, was if I saw a crease or I saw a hole, I was, I was gunning it. And uh, it worked out today, so I was very lucky. Could you just talk briefly about uh, coming from North Carolina and maybe some expectations that you had and you, you didn't wind up the year starting? Uh, obviously, how have you kind of handled that and what does this do to maybe? Uh, you know, make that transition a little easier. Yeah, you know, when I came to North Carolina, you know, as far as a football standpoint, I knew that, you know, I was going to come in here and compete and, you know, be first or second string, to be quite honest with you. And it was a decision before I even came here you'd be okay with. Can I be the guy? I can work hard. If you're second string, it's the same as first string. You know, you got to be ready to go. So when I wasn't named to start a quarterback, I didn't, I wasn't upset for a second. You know, I knew there'd be a time this year, whether it was the third game or the ninth game, where I have to come in and help win. Um, so I was extremely excited about that. There was no form of disappointment by me by being second straight. Um, I'm extremely excited to be here and extremely um, excited to help the team win. I suppose uh, Greg, you have any drives like that last year at Syracuse? No, I don't think he did. This is something I won up to him on. I don't think he's ever done this before. <laughs> hey, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank nice you job. Very much. Thank you. I got one question for you. What did you see on the touchdown play? Uh, on the touchdown play, you know, we called it. We called it two verticals. Um, Alex Gottlieb and Chase. Uh, Chase Hill and uh, you know we wanted to get to Gottlieb and apparently he was open but I didn't see him um, and as soon as I saw Chase caught in front of his man I knew I had a split second to fit it in there and uh, I just put it on him as fast as I could and, and he made a really good play because he caught it and he got stuck right away so uh, very fortunate that he got it across the line and held on to it. Your first feeling after he caught the ball and you knew it was a touchdown? I was just so excited he crossed the line because when I saw him, I saw him got hit, and I didn't know if it was at the one-yard line or not, so I was looking and peeking, and then when he signaled, I was just so excited. It was a really, really good feeling.